Hi and welcome to the Crochet Circle. My name is Alex and in today's video I want to show you how to join granny squares. I'll be joining my granny squares into a bag. I have 13 of them. If you don't know how to lay them out, you can definitely check my previous video where I show you how to make little bags or coin purses from 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 and 13 granny squares. I know my intro in the last video was a bit long, so I'm not gonna do that in this one. Uh, I'm just gonna get started. So I have my granny squares laid down in a pattern for how they should be. I am gonna be using my blue yarn and my 3.5 millimeter hook and the stitch I'll be using to join all the granny squares will be a zigzag slip stitch. Let's get started. Um, I am gonna be starting from the... I hope you can see it. I'm gonna be starting from the loop here and there are two chains in here so I'll be starting from the second chain here I'm gonna put my needle through I'm gonna do a slip stitch okay I'm gonna also leave a long tail to sew in. Now I'm gonna pick up the other part of the squares that I wanna join. And again, this one is gonna be in the... This is one, two, so this is going to be in the first chain of the granny square. I know the start is a bit hard, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to go much easier. So And a slip stitch. Now I get back to the left granny square, do a slip stitch, and now on the right side I do the same. I go from the right side in. I hope I will be able to get it nicely done. So this is my stitch and now a slip stitch here. It's just the starting point is a bit hard. Okay, and now in the next one, slip stitch, and in the next one, slip stitch. Now in the next one, slip stitch, in the next one, slip stitch. I'm going from the right side, getting my yarn and pulling it through. That is for the hook for the loops on the right side and then on the left side I go from the left 
to the middle and in. From the right side and from the left side. From the right side and from the left side. From the right side and from the left side. Now a few of the stitches are already done and you can see a nice zigzag. And I think it's gonna look really pretty when the granny squares will be closed. I know I could do my magic trick with fast forwarding it or making it sound like it's really easy and really fast, but to be honest, it's not. So in this video, I'm actually not gonna speed forward. I, because a lot of times people don't know how much effort it takes to crochet something, how much time it takes to make something. So this time it's gonna be all in normal speed and there will be things more to come also uh, more at the end of the film when I'll be doing the handles Okay, now the first granny, the first two granny squares are almost done. from the wrong side. It has to go from the right side in. Now we are almost at the corner. Here it's gonna be only one. One on the left side and one on the right side. Then I'm gonna flatten it out and see where next to start. And I didn't put it on the... It goes from the inner... Okay, so now the first granny square is done. Let's see where I will continue. I will continue now down this road and I'm gonna go all over and then hopefully I'll be able to come back to the beginning. But you can see the first joint is really nice and you do have a lovely zigzag effect. So now the next two granny squares are gonna be these ones. That means I'm gonna be taking one chain from the right side
Now actually I stopped at the right side so I have to now make it on the left side. So here's chain 2. Now it's in the second chain. And it's from the wrong side again. It's from the outer to the inner side. slip stitch and now the next one I'm gonna just lose this pin the next one is gonna be here again from the outside a slip stitch in once you get to those uh, single uh, double half double and triple crochets it's much easier because the loops are really easy to see so it's from the outer side a slip stitch From the outer side, slip stitch. From the outer side, a slip stitch. I mean, I am struggling here with only 13 granny squares. I admire those ladies that do make a granny square blanket for a king or those huge beds. That is just amazing how you are able to have all those squares in your hands and do things. Okay, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, getting there, getting there. Now the next one I'm gonna be going here. Yeah, as I told you, it is much easier once you go to, once you go out of the corners.
that is what I get because I'm such a, a tight crocheter that sometimes I have a hard time finding the appropriate loop to pull through. Okay, so now I have to join this one and this one. So I already did here with a chain one. Now I'm gonna do another one on this side and then I'm gonna switch to the right one. Pulling it tight a bit. And now the next one is this one. So I have to go into the chain one, in the first chain of actually two. So this is this one. And from the outer side in. And my yarn is not on the right side. Okay, now the easier part begins.
okay now the next one is done uh, I have to continue down that road and I think I'm gonna be going this way and then in the end the second part will be just joining the last two granny squares together actually what I want to do is I'm just gonna before I forget I'm gonna change these two granny squares I want this one in the middle Okay, so now I'm gonna continue Now this one again in the second chain of the corner I'm gonna do a slip stitch And then in the second one from the right side again a slip stitch if you have any other great uh, joining techniques for granny squares please do let me know I am a bit new with granny squares so every comment every critic every suggestion is welcomed I'm always double checking if it is the next stitch that I'm going in yeah because I don't want to do my uh, bag three times so this whole video will be filmed as one and if I make a mistake then I will have to do it in front of you and to be honest I don't wanna uh, undo my work cuz time is precious
Okay, this is now done. Now I'm gonna go, I already did one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna go with the next one. It's gonna be this one. So I'm just going to remove the pins. Um, I think I missed one here. No, it's it was fine. said this one so is it yes it is so in the chain from the outside in together okay now again the easiest part the easier part So it's just slip stitching from left to right and you get this nice zigzag effect. Now in the chain one and in 
in the chain here as well. Okay, let's see where I have to go now. So I did one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna turn the work a bit around. And now I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna so in the second chain of the corner do a slip stitch And in the first chain of the second granny square, do a slip stitch as well.
Okay, let's see now the next one where to go. So now I'm gonna change to here. Use the pin.
Okay, now this one is done. Now I'm gonna go back the same way. So in the second chain, again from the corner, Just slip stitches from the left and slip stitches from the right and then you get this zigzag effect. Now here, this one goes st is still still counts as a stitch for these two granny squares, and then I'll have to move on to the next one 
and we're gonna have hopefully a perfect fitting without any holes inside Okay, I've made a total mess here. Let's do it again. Don't forget that is just because I'm a really tight mm, crocheter. If your loops are more loose than mine, then you won't actually have any problems getting the yarn and the needle through. Okay, this is not gonna work. I'm just gonna go for this one stitch to a bit smaller needle. Done. You can always help yourself with a smaller needle if you have trouble like me. Okay, this one is now perfectly from all four sides and I'm gonna continue down that road. wrong way I knew it was too easy because it went in way too easy okay now the corner is done and I can go for the rest of the granny square
Okay, let's see where to go next. I have to make one more on this one and then I'm moving to the next square. Actually, I'm not even gonna bother with this bigger needle. I'm just gonna use the smaller one. And now I have to change. It goes up here, so turning it a bit around. In the second of the chain two, you do a slip stitch. Again, I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna take a smaller needle. It's much easier to do the corners with the smaller needle. So, I think you saw me sweating enough while trying to put the needle somewhere that it's hard to put. Now this wasn't planned but I am gonna make a cut in the video in the post-production at this stage. One reason why I'm gonna do is was actually I got a visitor and I had to stop and the other reason is it's almost one hour long. So I'm gonna do the rest of the granny squares in part two. And then in part 3 it's gonna be putting the straps or the handles on and just finishing up the bags. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you wanna share it with your friends, you can definitely do that as well. And if you wanna get notified when the next video is gonna be out, don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you soon and happy crafting!